Hi, my name is Teresa Ho and I'm a PA and I specialize in the shoulder, elbow, and upper limb. In this video, I will discuss how to prepare for your upcoming PRP injection, also known as a platelet-rich plasma injection. What should I expect during the procedure? Once you have arrived in the office, we'll start off by using a very small needle to draw your blood into a tube. Usually the blood will be drawn from a vein along your elbow. Next, we will transfer the blood to a special machine called a centrifuge to spin the blood, which will separate the blood into several layers. While we are waiting for the centrifuge to spin, we will inject local anesthetic into the painful area to make the PRP injection as painless as possible. Once the centrifuge process is completed, we will then remove the layers that contain the platelets and growth factors into a separate tube. This is what we will then inject back into the area that you're experiencing pain in under ultrasound guidance. You will be allowed to drive yourself home after the injection. However, if you are having difficulty preparing a ride home, please let us know and we can help to arrange one for you. How should I prepare for my PRP injection? There are several factors that can affect the efficacy of your PRP injection. One of the most important factors is hydration. So please make sure you are hydrated and drink plenty of water for at least 72 hours prior to the injection. If you are dehydrated, this may affect the amount of blood that can be drawn and therefore can decrease the amount of platelets that can be injected back into the painful area. Avoiding NSAIDs, also known as non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, is also very important as NSAIDs actually inhibit platelet function. Therefore, we advise that you stop taking any NSAIDs for at least 14 days prior to your scheduled injection. Here is a list of commonly used NSAIDs, including ibuprofen, naproxen, aspirin, indomethacin, diclofenac, Celebrex, and meloxicam. Getting appropriate cardiovascular exercise is important as well. About one week prior to the injection, try to do some cardio exercise whether that is walking or jogging or swimming or any other cardio exercises. This can help with increasing the amount of blood cells in your body and therefore the platelet count as well. A healthy diet also plays a part. So try to avoid saturated fats and fast foods as this can impact the quality of your platelet rich plasma. Additionally, make sure to get a good night's sleep prior to your injection as this can help to reduce the release of stress hormones that may affect platelet sensitivity. Lastly, make sure to avoid getting cortisone injections into the area. We will need you to wait at least four weeks from the time of any recent cortisone injections into the area to have a PRP injection. Part of the way that PRP injections work is by triggering a healing cascade of events, some of which include inflammatory reactions. These are a part of the healing process and therefore we do not want a cortisone injection or other anti-inflammatory medications present since they can inhibit this response. Here are a few important post-injection instructions to note. PRP injections can be painful. You can expect a light tingling and burning sensation at the injection site for up to about four days after the injection. This is due to the natural response of histamine. You may take Tylenol, also known as acetaminophen, to help with pain or discomfort. Occasionally, patients may need additional pain relief with a medication called tramadol. If you start to experience burning nerve pain, please let us know right away. You may be experiencing a condition called complex regional pain syndrome, which is an overactive nerve response. If this happens, we can prescribe a nerve calming medication called gabapentin for you. Please see our companion handout and video regarding complex regional pain syndrome after PRP injections. Here are a few things to make sure to avoid after your PRP injection. Please avoid any NSAIDs or anti-inflammatory medications after the injection. If possible, it is best to wait a full six weeks to resume these medications. Please also avoid rubbing or massaging the area of your injection excessively. And lastly, avoid strenuous activity with the injected arm for up to three days following an injection. It is okay to start gentle range of motion exercises a few times per day after the injection. Please see our companion videos on our post PRP exercise protocols. I hope this video helps you feel prepared for your upcoming PRP injection. 
please do not hesitate to contact us with any questions and we look forward to taking care of you.